these days, a regenerative stem cell therapy is uh, very much uh, a buzz. A lot of patients interest in it, and there's a there's a whole population of patients where I might have uh, provided operative intervention, and yet they did not achieve the uh, result expected. There's a lot of people out there with uh, mild arthritis. Although it's very painful, it's still mild. They're too young, they're too active to perhaps warrant a total knee replacement, or they don't want a total knee replacement. But yet they do have the arthritis. And we've done the knee scope, we've done the therapy, we've done the uh, anti-inflammatories. Still, the pain is there, the swelling spontaneously, it's affecting their, their uh, quality of life, their activities at work, uh, their quality of sleep. Uh, so what can we offer them? Well, this regenerative stem cell therapy and more specifically the alpha-2 macroglobulin injections uh, have just been a, uh, a wonder. And the current theory is that you have uh, a lot of um, proteinases or 13 matrix metallic proteinases that actually will dissolve or break down the articular cartilage. And we naturally have this alpha-2 macroglobulin located in our knees, in our synovium and cartilage. And for whatever reason, either because of genetics or um, injury, what you had in your knee at one point is used up, yet you still have these enzymes degrading the cartilage, hence spontaneous swelling or pain. And this is the, these, this is the group of, of people in our population that, uh, oh, I have bad knees. Grandma had bad knee, mom had bad knee, dad can't walk. Okay, they just accept it's genetic. Unique process, uh, right, based here in the office, we're able now to concentrate this alpha-2 microglobulin six to seven hundred percent, the natural concentration of blood, and inject that right back into the patient's knee. It's their blood product, it's their uh, A2M or master inhibitor tetramer molecule that their body is making, we're just relocating it into an area where it can do its job. And it simply shuts down those enzymes and hence preserves the cartilage. And that's just one facet of this new um, aspect of medicine, uh, regenerative, stem, uh, regenerative stem cell therapy. And it, it's got such potential and it's just on the early uh, stages that uh, I'm incorporating that in a lot of my surgeries. For example, we do arthroscopic rotator cuff repairs, slap repairs. Uh, now I'm able to harvest bone cells I'll do bone marrow aspirate concentrate where I get the mesenchymal bone cells uh, from the patient's bone while we're in surgery uh, through the same little small portals I put the scope in. And while I'm doing, uh, while I'm repairing the labrum or the rotator cuff tear, uh, my staff in the back is preparing this. And we'll take 50, 60 cc's of this bone marrow aspirate and from that we'll harvest five cc's of bone marrow aspirate concentrate which is just full of growth factors. and. Um, uh, mesenchymal bone cells, which are baby cells that don't know what they want to be when they grow up, but they have tremendous healing potential. And after I do whatever repair I usually do that would naturally go on to heal, we'll inject this in and around the repair that we did, and the healing of, of, um, of this is tremendous. In fact, there's even studies now that show if we even use uh, simple leukocyte-poor platelet-rich plasma, which is something we can just take out of patient's blood while they're asleep having surgery, spin it down the back room, and if I do an e-scope and see they have a moderate level of arthritis when just to inject that simply in their knee. And there's studies out of Mayo Clinic now in Florida that show uh, just proportionally much better pain relief. So this is a new world, a new aspect of uh, medicine. It's a, it's a definite uh, con conjunct to orthopedic surgery. Surgery sometimes doesn't get you all the way, but with this natural uh, stem cell therapy, it definitely, uh, they marry together. They, 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 they help each other. You know, one plus one doesn't equal two, one plus one equals 2,000. And we get the result we're looking for, quicker healing, less pain, and, uh, and uh, ultimately, um, especially with the A2M injections for the knee, people with known arthritis, too young, too active, they have a total knee, not interested in a total knee, don't require it. All with uh, office-based uh, our procedure that's just taking um, cells from their blood and relocating them into their knee. It's very impressive.